students, welcome to class. Today we're going to be reviewing a new cocoa melon. We're gonna see if it is good or not. I had told them that they should have vegan cocoa melon videos and apparently somebody told me that this one is pretty good so I hope you guys aren't tricking me. Anyway, happy vegan declaration day to everyone who is a new vegan here today. And I have a little list to read. These are people who asked me to read their names out here on this channel. so. Uh, I will do that. So we have Cynthia from South Africa, Jeremiah from Prince Edward Island, Melinda from Chicago, we have Brad from New Jersey. Congratulations to all you guys. We have George and Tessa who are both grandparents from California. Imagine becoming vegan at the age of being a grandparent. Isn't that cool? It's great. If they can do it, you guys can do it too. Amanda and her sister Amy, oh yeah, when families do it together, it's so great. It's not always easy to get your brothers and sisters to become vegan. A lot of people suffer and they say, oh, they're really sad that it, they have to do it alone. But, you know, if you can, if you can support each other, brothers and sisters, to become vegan, that's great. Uh, Ralph from Jamaica, great. Artemis from Calgary and Barb and John from Niagara Falls. So congratulations to all of you. And here is your song. Happy Vegan Declaration Day. Or just a minute, welcome to the club, we're so glad you're in it. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you, happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Everywhere around the world, animals are lining up to thank you for your compassion and for allowing your heart to open up. Happy Vegan Declaration Day, everyone. Don't forget to write the date down on your fridge because it kind of slips, it sort of creeps up on you. You start, you start thinking about veganism. Next thing you know, you're, you're buying soy milk and oat milk instead of cow's milk. And then next thing you know, you're sort of like, wait a sec, I think I'm vegan. And you don't remember the day. So the day that you declare that you are really gonna start, that's the day you write down, okay? It doesn't mean that you can't finish the stuff that's in your fridge. Okay, you don't have to actually throw everything out. You can finish the stuff that's in your fridge and your freezer, just don't buy anything new. It's the day that you declare that you are not ever buying or receiving anything that is non-vegan anymore into your home, okay? So no leather couches are coming in, no leather shoes are going onto your feet, you're not buying anything new, do you understand? If you have leather shoes, still it's okay you can leave the house with them you don't have to go out of the house barefooted just make sure that when you put on your shoes that you're aware that that was an animal that suffered and i know this is going to sound crazy but i want you to apologize every time you put on your shoes you tie your shoes and you say i'm really sorry i'm really sorry to the cow who, who whose life was ended because i bought this item okay but you don't have to throw everything out in one shot Okay, don't wear fur and stuff that you don't need, but you know, if you need your shoes and just, you don't have to throw out your car because your car has leather seats, for example. It just means that you're really gonna try hard, hard, hard to not buy, you're never gonna buy any more non-vegan things in the store, okay? If you're buying ice cream, it's gonna be vegan. If you're gonna buy clothing, you're gonna make sure there's no wool, no fur, no feathers, all of that stuff. All right, so today we are reviewing Cocoa Melon. And we're gonna see if this is a good episode. Somebody told me it's about ice cream, but it's vegan. So I really hope they're not tricking me. I really do. I'm so angry when you guys trick me. But apparently this is good. So we'll see. Right. They failed the last two times, by the way. That's, that's why I'm kind of happy. You see, I had written them. I said, hey guys, what is up? You know, you're doing this show for kids and you're showing all these dead animals on the plate and you were teaching kids to use animals. Like they were trying to take the fur, the wool off of a sheep and the sheep was running away. Clearly didn't want, didn't consent to being touched this way. So, and, and you know, here we go. I always know what you guys are gonna say. Well, sheep need to be sheared, but actually here's the thing. We create these sheep to begin with because we wanna use them as objects and that's not okay. Stop breeding sheep, leave them alone eat other things, and then you won't have this, this dilemma whether you should be shaving these sheep or not. We've genetically modified to become so large and so full of wool that they're extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, so leave them the fuck alone. Don't 
touch the sheep. Don't breed them, don't pin them down, don't force them to have babies, and don't shave them to the point where they're bleeding, which is what happens in the industry. That's why you should not wear wool. It's true. Go and watch wool in 60 seconds or wool in a minute. Just Google that. You'll see what I mean. It's horrible. Make you ball your eyes out. I just, I get so upset when I see that type of thing. Anyway, Coco Melon. Let's see. Ice cream song. <sighs> it's really hot. Let's take a break. I know a snack that we can make. I'll teach you my cool recipe for fresh fruit ice cream. Yeah. Try it with me. Uh -huh. Oh, check it out. Bananas. Check mark for you, Coco Melon. What else do we have there? Strawberries, another check mark. Blueberries, another check mark. And by the way, a pretty healthy looking dad. Not some guy who's lying on a couch and drinking beer all day and, and, and or playing video games. Like this actually looks like a dad, like the kind of dad that you'd want, you know? So check mark to Coco Melon for that, for showing us a decent model of a dad, at least so far. You know, he's taking care of his kid. He's gonna doing something in the kitchen. Good job. Fresh fruit ice cream. What a sweet treat. Fresh fruit ice cream. Yummy to eat. <laughs> we choose the fruit. One, two, and three. We chop, chop, chop. Real carefully. So I'm going to give him a check mark again for preparing food with his child, having a great attitude, singing a song. That's good. Oh, what's in the freezer though? I could tell you what's not in that freezer. Look at that. Do you see any dead bodies in there? No. Yay to Coco Melon. All right. So we've got no dead chickens in there. We have got no dead cows. Let's look again. I don't see any dead pigs. Any dead ducks? Nope. Any dead sheep? No. All right, good job so far, Coco Melon. What other dead bodies do some of you guys have in the freezer? You know, a freezer should actually have fruits and vegetables in it, and that's it. Okay, nothing else. No dead body parts. No dead rabbits in there? All right, check mark. No dead lobster. Good. No dead fish. All right, check mark. Do you see any dead cats in the freezer? I don't. Another check mark. How about any dead dogs? Nope. Good job, Coco Melon. You're doing great. This is what you have so far. Tons and tons of check marks. We freeze the fruit. All right. It takes some time. We wait, wait, wait till we hear a chime. To wait an hour? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Fresh fruit ice cream. What a sweet. I, I don't know about you guys, but um, have you ever tried to make some food and that takes an hour like that with your kid? I mean, what's he doing? He's doing like hand signals. Like, is he pretending to be the clock? Is that it? Okay. Well, anyway, good, good job, Dad. You're teaching moving your arms. I guess you're doing some sort of hand signal thing. Uh, exercise. Anyway, you're making your kid laugh. That's good. And you're also teaching your kid patience. You know, you guys are hanging out together. You didn't just give your kid some sort of a device to keep active where, you, where you're like tuned out. So good job for that too. All right. Dads should not be playing video games. Dads should be involved with their kids' lives. They should be looking them in the eye. They should be prepare, preparing things like this with them in the kitchen. And check out the kitchen. I don't know if the dad cleaned up, but it looks pretty good to me. And they have a little bee there. So that's good. A little bee decoration. And hopefully this family is not eating honey, not stealing from the bees. 
I'm gonna give a check mark because I don't see them doing that right now. I just see a decoration of a painting or some sort of ceramic tile at B. So that's okay. Well, they kept their hands up in the air for an hour. So delish and blend, blend, blend. Till it's all squished. Beautiful color, right? Huh? Fresh fruit ice cream was a sweet treat. Fresh fruit ice cream, yummy to eat. Oh, other kids. Feeding three fresh fish, yeah. vegan food. Check mark. A sweet treat, fresh food, ice cream, yummy. I wonder if the cone is vegan. What do you guys think? They're not always vegan. Hmm. What do we do? Do we give an X for that? We don't know. Maybe they're vegan cones. Oh, and a cherry, another fruit. I'm not going to give them an X because I don't know. Maybe it's actually vegan. That's it? Oh, and then another one comes. Well, that was good. Good job, Coco Melon. I'm so proud of you. All right. Well, I, what can I say? You're going to get an A, of course. In fact, you get an A plus because I didn't see anything wrong there at all. Good job, Coco Melon. A plus. Fantastic. Good work. All right, everyone. That's it for today. I just want to show you a couple of little things. Remember, being vegan means being kind to animals. It means not paying people to hurt them. All right? And remember, animals are not objects to be used by us. That's why we don't steal their milk. We don't steal their honey. We don't steal their eggs. Okay? Remember also that speciesism is the first form of racism. If you start to treat animals one differently than the other and you say well this animal is important because it's cute and this one is important because we can use it and that one's not important it's not okay show some love and compassion to all animals allow them to be out in nature without disturbing them okay all right yeah here's one don't steal milk honey or eggs don't steal animals lives super easy and for those of you who don't know Plants don't feel pain, they don't have a brain, they don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart, you know where to start, so share this song and be vegan from now on. Right? Apparently like more than 5 million people saw me singing that song on TikTok. A whole bunch of them changed the words, but I did sing it and... I don't want you guys to do any drugs. I don't want you guys to do anything bad. I don't want you guys to play too much video games. I want you to sing songs about veganism, all right? Make this world a better place. Thanks for being here, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget, though, just like and subscribe. Press the notification bell. Help me get all the other poor animals out of hell who are there on factory farms right now in Holocaust-like conditions. Help me save them, okay? So sign up. Press the notification bell. And coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. So when you see them, go ahead and click on them. Click on them. Be curious. Look around. There's all kinds of cool videos. There's other reviews about Coco Melon where I'm pretty angry actually because they're abusing animals. So thankfully I didn't have to do that here. Yay to Coco Melon for listening to my advice and making a nice vegan video. Good job. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't press the bell. I mean the button. Okay, I'll try again. Ready? Bye. <laughs>